I want to talk about a interesting topic I recently did some work on and it is DuckDB and Delta Lake together. Interesting stuff. Now I've come down on DuckDB quite hard before. You know, I test stuff, break stuff. That doesn't make people happy. When stuff breaks, it doesn't make me happy. Whatever. I recently wanted to test DuckDB's integration with Delta Lake mostly because Delta Lake is the de facto tool for the new lake house world, etc. running on Databricks, of course. DuckDB is starting to market themselves as, you know, come to us, use us for your compute, it's cheaper, better, etc. And so, you know, I'm sure they would say the same thing about Databricks. Hey, you know, instead of running that on a Databricks job, paying using Spark and paying a ton of money to Databricks, go ahead and you can use DuckDB for some of that compute. And, you know, it's all good and dandy when people say that, but you know me, I like to test things in real life, and that's what I did. I wanted to test that theory in real life. So I did two things. I wanted to use just use my laptop local setup, use DuckDB with a local Delta Lake on that laptop, if that makes sense, just to see, like, local playing around. How does DuckDB do generally just on the local Delta Lake? playing around open source, etc. And then I want to take another approach of how does DuckDB do with a Delta Lake with an S3 back end, if that makes sense. S3 back end for Delta Lake, which is more what you would see in production environments and see, hey, how does DuckDB actually react to that? Is it any different? So I did the simple Docker file just to help kind of encapsulate what you would need to run it in Delta Lake and DuckDB in your local environment. It's really not that big a deal. You can see there's a requirements file for that, just uh, DuckDB, Daft, we'll get to that later. I just wanted to do some baselines against DuckDB and Delta Lake. Of course, you just run a couple Docker build, Docker run, and voila, you got it running. Of course, in my case, I did use a tool called Data Hobbit, which I recently built. It's a Rust-based tool. I had some people in the open source community help add a Python bindings to that. It's just a really fast way to generate data sets. You can see here, I just wanted to make about a 10 million line CSV file that I could, you know, basically pour it over and dump into Delta Lake. I use the Data Hobbit tool to do that. Go check it out. It's on GitHub. And I actually use Daft, a tool called Daft. It's a data frame, a Rust-based Python tool that is extremely fast and extremely awesome. I used it to read that CSV file and dump out a Delta Lake table locally, remember, on this laptop, because I want to be able to test DuckDB against that laptop, against that Delta Lake on my laptop just to see what's going on. Honestly, the DuckDB code is very, very clean. Just import DuckDB and you just install Delta and load Delta. You can just do a select star from and you can do scan Delta. Put in that location of the Delta Lake and bam, it works pretty well. It's good to see. Pretty easy, easy setup. It's a good sign for the integration between DuckDB and Delta Lake. But next what I want to do is just do a simple aggregation on that Delta Lake with 10 million records and then just write the results back out to a CSV file just to kind of, you know, see what happens to get a benchmark on that query. Again, we can see install Delta, load Delta, just run a very simple Delta scan with a group by and select, getting the average age. Very straightforward, and then just write out the CSV file to results. What I do like about this code is that it's straightforward, it's simple, everyone can use it, and get it, and understand that I like the mix of SQL with, you know, like the dot rate CSV call. It's just very clean and simple. And it ran pretty fast in under half a second for 10 million records on a local Delta Lake. Ooh, that's fast. Again, what I did, I just wanted to get a baseline. So I did that same exact thing in Daft, that tool I talked about. It's a Rust-based tool with a Python wrapper. It's very fast. I've used it before. I just wanted to see, you know, and they have a SQL context as well in Daft. And I want to kind of get a baseline. So that half second that DuckDB ran on that local Delta Lake open source table on my machine. How does that same exact query result look like in Daft? How fast is it? What does it look like? As you can see in the code, it is pretty much the same thing. Just make a SQL catalog, read a data frame, read the Delta Lake to a data frame, and then just basically run some Daft SQL on it. Same exact query and write the results back out. And it took actually a little over a minute, over a second, sorry. A little bit over a second. So, you know, DuckDB is more than twice as fast. That's interesting. I mean, we know DuckDB is fast. That's what it claims. I was just kind of surprised that it beat Daft so badly. Daft is a pretty sweet and fast tool based in Rust, but you know, DuckDB is just, it's super fast tool, man. I don't know if you've used it, but obviously it's aggregation, super fast. 
But honestly, that is not the real world, and we all know that. We're not, when somebody's using inductive being Delta Lake in real life, they're not going to do it on a laptop. This is going to be production, right? This is going to be running on an instance, on some compute somewhere, on a Delta Lake that is backed up in S3, or is located in S3, or some other remote storage file system out in the cloud. So I basically redid the same test with DuckDB and Daft, except now the Delta Lake exists out in an S3 folder because this is important what's going to happen here, right? And of course, here's a DuckDB code. Only thing you should note is that, of course, I had to add a little bit of code to pick up the AWS secrets. You can see I'm creating a secret there and just saying use a provider credential chain for AWS for S3. And I, I just ran this and, of course, had the secrets in a .aws credentials file. If you've used Bodo or anything like that, CLI tool, I just had that set up and it was able to pick up those credentials and then write the results back out. And this time DuckDB slowed way down. That same thing that was under half a second is now over seven seconds. Interesting result, right? Things always look different in the real world. Fast locally, got kind of bogged down and slow when that, you know, Delta Lakes out there in S3, interesting. Next thing I want to do is switch over to Daft and do that same thing. Remember, Daft was slower than DuckDB in the local, but go ahead and you can see the code there. Real easy to read Delta Lake again, just point at S3. You'll note here, Daft is smart enough just to go look for default AWS credentials. I didn't have to Delta to do anything at all different. So really the only thing I had to change in this code was just pointing to S3. When I ran it, bam, look at that three seconds on that runtime. So it's basically twice as fast in the remote execution when it comes to Delta Lake than DuckDB. This is super interesting, I thought. Here's a little chart that I threw together. You can see DuckDB is the fastest with its local runtime execution. DAFS is a little bit slower. Man, when you come to S3 remote Delta Lake, dude, that DuckDB is slow as crud. Daft is, of course, faster. That is so interesting, is it not? This just goes to show the importance of testing out your tools in a real-life environment. Anybody can say anything, hey, whatever, this thing's fast. But, you know, it's just important. You, gotta, you should test things out. Don't take people at their word. Try things. Test them in a production-like environment. So important. Can't emphasize that enough. A lot of people... Might do something on their laptop, you know, go move that to production. It's not working out well. Well, it's like, you know, that's kind of some different stuff going on there. Clearly, DuckDB has some work to do around re reading remote files, I would assume. Clearly, Daft has done a j better job at dealing with remote file storage systems, whereas, you know, DuckDB, according to this, is, has super fast aggregation, which it's known for, right? So it's just an interesting, interesting idea, I guess, there. I think it's just an interesting, interesting result to think about. I'm curious what you guys think about this. Mm -hmm.